Welcome to Shadow Empress Tarot. I am a messenger of the Most High with the power to travel through the shadow realms. I am here to guide you through spiritual warfare so you can achieve your soul's desires. What you need to know is God is my guide, truth is my religion, and my channel is intense shadow work. So if you are mentally or emotionally unstable, you've been warned. Here we go. Hey, Shadow Gang. We in here once again. Uh, yeah. I'd like to thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and donations. You're really appreciated. And I'm going to bless this place and give this reading a little intro because what happened when I pulled this was very interesting. So let's get started because when I tell you there's a lot of cards on this table, there are a lot of cards and it's been sitting on my table for two days. So I know what it is, but I really don't. Because, you know, I mean, it stays in my energy, but um, there's a lot of cards. And so if the cards get mixed up, that's what they're supposed to do. Um, the messages still come through. So let's get into it. And let me tell you. There's somebody out here that does not want this message to come through. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up on my face. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up out my face. Now, please excuse my cards if I put them up and they got a little dirt on them. That's because I sprinkled some, some demon salt that I made. Because this reading. So let me tell y'all what happened. It's important. I, I was pulling for this reading and I was getting something, but it was like crawling through sledge. And I'm like, I'm the shadow empress. Like it don't take me. And that this has happened before when I was reading for somebody whose partner had a gang of demons on him. Right. So I'm like, Hey, this ain't normal. Like, I'll sit with my cards, but that's just to get a cohesive storyline. Not because I, I can't get nothing. So I'm sitting up here bothered, like, what's going on? It took me a long time to pull. And I was pulling, you know, I wasn't going to read it, but I was pulling when I was kind of tired after work. So I'm thinking, like, should I just lay down? But I'm like, no, I, this energy is familiar. So... I'm like, hey, this ain't normal. Like, I'm only at the second card, and it's so hard for me to read this. And I was like, this is spell work. That shit, pop. There are cross watchers. These people, this, I don't know if it's the high priestess or people who are cross watchers, watchers that resonate with the story. They want the readers to shut up. Particularly, I think there's a cross watcher that has been watching me tell it, me tell this story because it was so strong on me. Somebody could be doing spell work on people reading this, but that shit was strong on me. And I know what black magic feels like because that's why I talk about it because I've been through it. So that shit snapped open, right? 
and I'm able to get through it, but it was still kind of sludgy. It just took me a long time, but I didn't want to stop. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to pull it. And then I went and took a spiritual shower. I'm not a shower, a bath. I made up some special herbs for this. And I even asked spirit like that. These fucking gnats and stuff is because who, whoever's cross watching is monitoring. It's like, why the fuck you going to send monitoring spirits up over here? You watching the videos anyway. But anyway, so because like when you realize something is spell work, that should have like pop open immediately. And I'm like, oh, OK, now I'm, I'm trying not to get mad. Because you already in trouble with somebody else's bloodline. You don't want no smoke from mine. Lick. But anyway. So I was going to read it the next day, but I'm like, you know, I'm going to need a lot of energy to read this. Even though I cleansed myself, I was like, I want to be in a good space. So here we are. This this may resonate with you however which way. But this in particular is for the cross watcher. The cross watcher that doesn't want their story to be told. Who wants me and others who is telling the story to shut up. Bitch, you don't have no power. You don't have no power at all. And you coming over here, wasting your energy, trying to stop me from doing what I'm supposed to do. Now, spirit is going to spit in your face and go deeper into your treachery. Cross watcher. You keep your dirtiness with you. It don't work over here. That's why you're getting judgment. The first card out. I pulled off my pendulum. I was like, this seems like a continuation of that dark high priestess. Yeah. That dark high priestess is not only paying for spell like spell work. And other people pulling cards, but they on YouTube watching for their story. But bitch, you under judgment. You and the people that you work with are under judgment. This was the first card out. There's no escaping judgment. This is what you deserve. For what you've done. And this reading today. Is going to go deeper into. What you have done. Ain't no shutting up. This story will be told. You've lost. Karma. Is coming back. For you. This cannot be stopped. This is a bird and the story will be told to everyone. You will be a tale of caution. For those who are reading this story on the internet, it will be here for as long as the internet survives. Your story is a story for caution all around the world. Sit and watch and save your energy throwing shut up spells to people, trying to block people's crown chakras. <laughs> you want some more? You want some more? I clarified this karma card. And this is why you're getting trauma, karma. Because of the, I said trauma. Because of the trauma and the betrayal 
that you have inflicted on others. You will be getting your karma. I know shadow work is hard to listen to. But if you're going to watch, watch. You're getting judgment. You're getting karma. And balance is coming back. Things are being put into their rightful place. You tried to take someone off balance so that you could be in balance. But you see, the universe has a way of putting things back into balance. And you are two different souls. And it was not meant for you to be above the soul you tried to steal. I clarified that balance card and it says, your dream takes you back in time. Which era do you visit? Look, this is both a dream and this one. Your dream becomes a musical. What's the hit song? This one actually came out first. And I usually read these cards downwards, but this one is upward. The person that you were doing magic on and you put into this treacherous, energetic landscape is being guided out so they can flow and live their dream. So they can sing their song. Your dream takes you back. It takes you back to a place in time. Because you need to relearn lessons. This person is moving forward. And you are going around in circles. On the roller coaster over and over. Because you have not learned your lesson. You're trapped in a snow globe. How do you escape? And you will not be escaping this judgment. You need to go back and redo your lessons. Your dream becomes a musical. What's the hit song? And this person will achieve everything you wanted to steal from them. We're going to go over it again. Like literally... Spirit is saying, and there's a little bit extra in here. Spirit is saying, nah, we're going to tell a story again. Since you want to be dumb and waste your energy and, and you don't want it to be told, we're going to tell it again. This is the ancestors. So, you know, I really don't want to read it again, but we here. Because judgment was called. Leg. One soul is full of light energy and one soul has no energy and is the lights out. This is a dead soul. You cross watcher are a dead soul. You have no soul. And I just heard you've been told that before, haven't you? That you have no soul. I looked up accordion and that's music. Look at this. I can't make it up. Two different decks. The musical hit song. Don't this look like the same? With the accordion. And it was like accordions and what had came up was the symbolism for accordion during wartime is represents like creativity and joy during during and despite the war and this is what this soul was able to do against you they will continue to sing their song and dance 
lights out for you. You're trapped. And it's time to accept it. I clarified this card. I just put these cards together because I'm like, just wow. But what came out was the Queen of Swords knows all the secrets will he rat you out. And the Two of Hearts, Harry Potter's glasses, choose what the heart can see. Yes, this high priestess saw you. They saw all of your secrets and they ratted you out and called, called judgment on you. And they saw who you truly were in the spiritual realm. That you were, in fact, soulless. And I pulled out some more clarifiers. To wrap all this up, this first row up. And judgment is being called on you because of your magic. Your magic, your dark magic, you soulless being. The magic you did to turn the hands of time in your favor for money, for gifts, for inheritance that didn't belong to you. The king of pentacles, master of time, traveled through time. You used magic to travel through time and to unravel someone's destiny and to wrap it around you. You are in fact a cautionary tale of what not to do, of what not to do when dealing with magic and what not to do to a chosen and what not to do in the spiritual realm. Judgment has been called. And the story will be told. You're going to continue your disrespect. Putting spells. On people not to tell your treachery. Look, I was so disgusted. I didn't even want to deal with this reading. Interesting. Oh, here it is. I'm like, what? And for the people who are watching this of the collective, this is for you to learn a little bit more about what this high priestess did. But really this reading is for them to help them face what they did to you and to let them know they are not stopping shit. The story will be told. Because you were kind to them. You lifted your cup to them. You uplifted them. You truly cared for them. This is you. Raising your cup to somebody who had been plotting on you the whole time. This person was at the crossroads thinking about how they could get over on you and to get money from you, which direction to go, how they were going to do it while you over here loving on them. 
Spirit wants you to know this is not just you. This person has always been this way. They have always been evil. They have always used the people that they have attracted. You're not the only one. You were the last one. I clarified this two of pentacles and you got this. Uh-huh. The bust and the kneecaps. A sporting accident. This person was deciding which direction to go and how to come up off of you. And they made the wrong choice. And your ancestors and the spirit guides and God is busting them in the knee. In their journey to getting what they wanted from you, they got injured. They ended themselves up in jail. In spiritual jail. Mm. Because you called judgment. You saw what they were doing. And you sent a message to the spiritual realm and called judgment. There's nothing this cross watcher can do. It's over. Justice is here. Is your heart lighter than a feather? I think not. But the person you tried to steal from, heart is lighter than a feather. And this is treachery in the spiritual realm. Do you know why it's treachery? Because people like this, people like this are not only here to help others, but you are included in that. They're here to love everyone around them. And you were in their energy. And you wanted to take advantage of that love. And you trying to stop this and take advantage of this love that was given to you. If this magic would have been allowed, you take the love from the entire world. This person is here on a mission. Did you think? Did you think you were strong enough? To stop this mission? From the higher realms? Insanity. Lead. This is an interesting queen of swords. Insanity. The queen of swords. And this is what's in your mind. This person had been doing black magic and trying to steal gifts for such a long time and put so much effort and invested time, money, all kinds of shit that they actually started to believe that what you had belonged to them to the point they were like really fighting you for it. Give it to me, it's mine. Like, really, truly believing this. This bitch crazy. This is the queen of swords. And this is what's in this person's mind. Insane. You're insane. Look. But that's okay. Because when I did this magic and I, taught, I, I was in the spiritual bath and I talked to spirit. And I was like, I'm going to do this, but what if they like still come around? And Spirit was like, they're not getting nothing anyway. 
It's blocked. But this is to show you that they're still trying. This is unbelievable, y'all. And I know when I tell you that that shit was vexing me and when I tried to pull for this, this person did spell work on my channel. This is some real shit. And not just because of the cards. It's like, I could be like, oh, I believe in what comes through the cards, but I've gone through this personally myself. So I know it's real. And this person crazy as fuck. And Spirit said these Nats is flying all over the places because they pulling cards and pulling cards and pulling cards because they scared. They are insane and they are terrified. As they should be. Lick. The next two cards that came out. The Wheel of Fortune and the World. This was powerful to me because both the Wheel of Fortune and the world represents a cycle. The cycle of fortune and the cycle of closure. The world card is the cycle of closure and you move on into another world. It signifies an ascension. So what happened when this judgment was called is the will was turned in your favor and you're ascending. This person is left behind in the old world at the bottom of the wheel. And their chances of ascending has closed. They're double fucked. Double. And I clarified that. And I got the nine of cups. I'm just, man, this is that not shit, y'all. The Magician and the Four of Cups. This person, once again, they are obsessed about your Akashic records and what are in them, what's in them. What's in your Akashic records is all the lifetimes that you have done great things. Like your records are immense. It's at the Nine of Cups. The universe over lifetimes has watched you as a soul and you are a revered soul. Literally, I just heard loudly that there are not many at this Nine of Cups level. This, I mean, I've said this before, but this is, this was definitely a suicide mission. And you love this person. You are raising your cup to this person and this is them. Mine! And they're at the four of cups with this virus. They didn't have not one drop of love for you. They were wearing a mask. This is them. 
They were always here at this Two of Pentacles thinking about how they could take from you. They are evil soul. They've done this many times before you. Even if it wasn't with magic, they get with people and they use them for what they could get. This is their way. This is their soul. This is who they are. Don't take it personal. I pulled a card to close up this row. And you got the wheel again. This person sacrificed their will of fortune. They are at the bottom of the wheel. Matter of fact, with this person looking at this wheel, they can't, look at their big ass. You ain't going to fit on them little ass chairs. They can't even get on the wheel. I mean, you under judgment. The wheel of fortune doesn't apply to you. You're not riding the wheel. It stays at the bottom for you. Money. Oh. Give me a second, y'all. Money is all this thing, all this person cared about at the Ace of Pentacles. But we're gonna get into it. Look, spirit is not playing. This person thought they had an advantage over you. They didn't think that you would ever find out that you are only worth the Ace of Pentacles, that they saw you as this. They thought they had an advantage. Look at the Knight of Spears. This is, um, what's his name? I'm having a brain fart, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm having a brain fart on homie name. But look, the King Slayer. This is a very skilled warrior. Jamie, Jesus Christ, Jamie Lannister. How can I forget Jamie Lannister? The Knight of the Knight of Swords. This is or Spears, this is Wands. But anyway, this is a skilled warrior. Jamie actually was one of the best. Even with one hand, he was about that life. This is who this person thought they were. They thought you were the page of spheres. But there was something. There was something that changed this advantage. And that was that spiritual gift that they were trying to steal. Your ancestors at the hermit coming and telling you what's up. It leveled the playing field. This person thought they were not going to lose. They really didn't think they were going to lose. Give me a second, y'all. Okay, yeah, the spirits is warmed. So moving forward, this person thought they were going to get to you a lot faster because you was a little slow and didn't know that this, that they saw you as this. They thought you were a little slow because you was on that love shit. And love is dumb to this person. It like, 
when they see somebody that got love in them, they automatically think of them as like mentally retarded or something. Like no joke. Like no joke. But that wasn't going to go down because your ancestors was like, hey. So which actually turned you also to the Knight of Wands. And you were able to move fast enough to save your look, the Wheel of Fortune for the third time. Because I'm counting the intuitive card with the Ferris wheel. Your ancestors with this bird, a communication came to you and they was like, bitch, no, this wheel is stopped. Our wheel of fortune will not be yours. You will not put us, put us at the bottom of the wheel. Abusing this relationship. This person is an emotional abuser. You, Crosswatcher, are an emotional abuser, and everybody knows. You're insane, you're an emotional a manipulator, and you're soulless. And we're not even done yet about what's wrong with you. Trying to swap. Trying to swap. It's against spiritual law. And this one right here, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm taking a spiritual bath. And I noticed, look, spirit is coming through like, oh, okay, you want to, um, you want to come for one of our vessels? We're going to tell it again. And we're going to tell it even deeper about what you did. You just need to leave shit alone. Give me a second. I got to remember how the shit was. Spirit. At the five of wands. They want to tell you what these demons was doing this dark high priestess and the people that they got on their side. What was the conflict? What did they try to do? Now we talked about this, but now we're going to go deeper in it. Treachery. And in that last reading, I remember picking that up. I was like, this person is like a murderer. They would poison like their husband or something for money. And I was right. And we're going to go deeper in that because Spirit said, you're a murderer. You tried to unalive the collective. And the spirit realm saw you. You try to unalive the collective with ally, and this came after murder. War, world war, allied invaders, and you got other people to help you try to kill them. Like, literally, uh, what is it, unalive? Literally unalive another high priestess. You try to do this for real.
And the world is going to know what you did. And ain't no magic going to stop the truth. Because the truth is of the most high God. And judgment has been called and passed on you. You try to kill somebody for money, their wealth, their inheritance, energetically and physically. That's what you try to do. And if there are the group of people, if you're watching with this person, you'll be smart to let it go. And to walk away. Because you have karma on your soul from this attempted murder. And you're going to pay if you're not already paying. I... And I remember in that other reading, because I, I must have pissed off a high priestess after I did that reading. And in that reading, I remember pulling from the astrology jack decks. And I said, this ain't for everybody. But whoever this is, this reading is centered from, because y'all know, I tell you the reading centers from one person and then it's like a circle. Like then you got the next circle that's closest to the center. And it goes outward like that, how it resonates. I was like, this person has a Capricorn South Node and they were supposed to end up in cancer. Lit. Don't play with me and these cards. So I clarified the murdered card. And I got symbiosis and it can reverse and I was told to take it that way. And it's already here. With that two of cups, they was using emotional manipulation to get close enough to be able to do this energetically. Because it was easy for them to get this to work and they thought it was working because you cared for them. You were giving them energy. When you're giving your energy to somebody who doesn't feel the same about you, that is you, in fact, giving your power away to them. Because it wasn't even. It wasn't, it was, their love wasn't reciprocal. It was unrequited. So this person knew this. And they were using this. But when your ancestors came with that hermit card and told you, you were able to detach quickly. And that's how this backfired. And I clarified again, guess what came out? Capricorn. Guess what came out next? South Node. This person is in the lower energies of the Capricorn energy. They are in the devil energy. And once again, Whoever this reading centers around, they have a Capricorn South node. I can't make this up. I was like, what? They are in the devil energy. This is clarified this murder card because of what they tried to do to you. They didn't think they were going to get caught because it was energetic. They didn't think you knew. You sitting up here in this love energy not even think of somebody trying to attack you because they had you they had the effect of unity on you when really this was the truth <laughs> this person is deep in their self know they are deep achieved in this devil energy this capricorn energy Wanted to unalive people for money. Control. To be on top. I heard this was your last 
chance to work this out. This person at the Eight of Cups and what came out in that other reading, look at this. Don't this look like a narcissist? This person couldn't smell their own shit. Hey, this person is so manipulative. Even the people that they got, even the people that they got to in, in this... Uh, conspiracy to energetically rob you they were fooled this person had them thinking that they were on the upper end that they were all community and this and that they were doing this symbiosis thing to the people that they convinced to help them with this magic because they had already been trying to do it themselves with like voodoo or something and voodoo dolls and it wasn't working or it wasn't working as fast as they wanted so they got other people they felt like there would be strength in numbers and had these people celebrating and stuff like that because they promised them money this person was trusted by this community this shitty community. And. When they convince. Look at this. When they convince these people. To do this. They were just like. Really honestly. They was like oh I'm so good. I'm so good. I can make people do whatever I want. I can't believe that I convinced all of them. To help me. I'm so good. And with these eight cups, they got these three people to get other people. They were like, I am so good. And this person is so not aware. And they didn't check into the rules before they did this. They almost felt like I'm not the one doing it. So my hands are clean. The job is done. This high priestess didn't know that that's not how it works and they're going to burn in hell for it. Because they are a dark empath and they were abusing emotions and their gifts to get what they wanted. They really, really, really thought that their hands were clean. That it was going to be these other people, they were going to do the dirty work and they going to walk away and get whatever they wanted. This person is delusional, insane, soulless. I just heard competitive. Like, Spirit is saying the demon was aware. The demon inside of them just wanted to win at all costs. To get what they wanted at all costs. Leg. The bleeding star. The bleeding star. And that's all they wanted to see. They. Ooh, this person. They needed this. They needed this. Not even on a physical level on getting your gifts they needed this win to feel this narcissistic ego it needs to be fed it's a demonic attachment they needed to feed it and if this person at any time thought they were losing or that they couldn't do it it was starving their demons and making them feel not good so when they were able to get more people and convince people and get control over people it gave them an energetic boost. This person 
is not capable of caring about anybody. These people were tricked. And they had all these people doing this stuff and like, oh, I can walk away. I can walk away from this cloudiness and rain and leave them there to do it. And they're going to get me to the sun. Mm. If you're watching with this high priestess, now you know what this high priestess did to you guys. You were tricked. In the center of the reading is the King of Wands. And the King of Wands wasn't they out there with all that black magic? Okay. So they got all these people to do this. They got all of you to do this. And for a while, it made them powerful. It made them feel powerful. Give me a second. No, we're not taking that call. It made them feel powerful. Like, this King of Wands is telling me, like, this person wore the mask of a human. This person is fully demonic in nature. Fully. They pretend to be human. This person is not a human. They're soulless. There's no, they lost their spot in the game. This person was watching that even though they got all these people to come against you, it's like, and, and spirit is telling me with these claws, this crown on the head, they were using their intuitive gifts they were in their crown these claws in their crown talking to dark spirits asking them why this wasn't working or why it was taking so long and they told them that you were stronger than them so they went back to the books Look at this. Even though this is the king of wands, this is the face of worry. All these demons coming to them, telling them that they were losing still. So they went back to the books. They were watching you, taking notes. Mad as shit. Looking. Worried, getting pissed. The king and the queen of wands, they wanted to do something. I mean, this person, you were pissing off their demons. Because they were no longer being fed. Now they look and they, this is the point where they started looking a little dumb. Because these people start to ask, why is it not working? Like, what's happening? Like, what do we need to do? Like, they were using these people and using these people, and these people started to ask where their money was. You promised. Why is this not working? And this person was no longer looking like a looking like the king of wands. This is where they started looking like the queen of wands. And they were getting pissed. Ow, big mad. 
Big Mac. Because look, I hear it again. It's again. They thought they were the Knight of Wands that they knew everything what to do under the moon. They thought they were the Knight of Wands, and you were the page. But really, they were the page. With their little pow pow, with their little pew pew, shooting at a real life star. Look at that. Look how this lines up. Look how this lines up, y'all. Trying to shoot a real life star. They were the page. Didn't even know it. Uh, when I saw this, I was like, I can't believe how this lines up. They were the page trying to shoot a star, trying to steal from a star's whole lineage. Now look, that little pew pew, that shit was felt by their ancestors. Your ancestors. I can't make it up. And this awakened guides, higher-ups, ascendant masters, whatever, and they started. Now, you got this little pim pim look what's coming to you, a whole damn asteroid. Look, she looking up in the sky, looking at the angels, the guides, the ancestors, coming back at they ass like, oh, 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 oh what, what is that in the sky? Your demise, bitch. That's what's in the sky. I clarified that, and then the spirit was like, we're going to tell you what was in the sky. Because you are a chosen, it says, you gain the seed of a fruit tree. If you plant it, it grows to fruition in seven days. Unless the tree is chopped down, it provides unlimited food and sustenance forever. You have everlasting life. You have all your soul power. You are granted everlasting life. And this person, and you got legions, you got warriors. In the light and in the dark. You got a dragon. Your rank is such that you got a dragon? And look, Shin Munsa, shrouded in mystery. Munsa goes by many names. The Dark Wanderer, the King of Liars. The living blade. Folklore suggests he only appears immediately before calamity. Folklore aside, Mansu is a tried and true god of death. He takes great pleasure in his work. Leg the dark was willing to come fight for you too. The light, like I said, you can't make this stuff. The light and the dark. You have lesions from both sides. Powerful darkness. That is what was coming or came for this person when they shot this little stupid ass pal pal at you and your ancestors. Like I told y'all before, the gift that they were trying to steal is of a spiritual nature, a shamanistic, a bloodline that has been able to ride in both lanes and balance them for the healing of others. This person got a pal, pal. And you got the whole heavens. And now they looking up in the sky looking dumb. And what's coming at them. Dumbass. Making me mad. Making me make spiritual baths and all that. Getting on my nerves. Give me a second, y'all. Like I said before, this person
was getting beat up. They was getting beat up and poked in the eye because they were trying to cross your boundaries at the Nine of Wands. Look, the Queen of Swords that are out here are insane. Like, literally insanity. Hold on, y'all, because it's important. I mean, not the, did I say Queen of Wands? Queen of Swords. Okay. There's two Queen of Swords out here, and none of them rep represents what the Queen of Swords. Like, yeah, the Queen of, on the darker end, the Queen of Swords can be cutting, straightforward, and everything like that. But the Queen of Swords that's coming out here to represent this person is mentally ill. This is what's in their mind, and then this is the other Queen of Swords that represents them. This Queen of Swords is um, Cinderella's mom. And what Cinder the thing about Cinderella's mom was she everybody she was like a socialite. And everybody thought like she could be trusted and she was just a great mother and all this stuff. But when the doors were closed, she was torturing Cinderella. Torturing Cinderella. Competing. Want to take away Cinderella's light. This is truly... And, and another thing about this woman, she was unhappy with what she had. And not only like Cinderella's, but she was she wanted her one of her daughters to marry the prince. She wanted to use her daughters to get what she wanted. More prestige to be the best socialite money, whatever the hell it was. This person is ill. Like legit. Mentally ill. I know they mentally ill for sending me magic. Straight up. Like you didn't fucking Ask these demons are like the spirit realm. Um, who you doing magic on? Like you, you want to go through this again? Putting magic on my third, on my crown chakra. Whatever, we moving on. This, these people, because when you do black magic, you know you gotta have a reason for it. I mean, if you're doing it correctly, and. Because this person showed themselves as somebody that should be respected and they can't see, they couldn't, the mask was great. They couldn't see that this person crazy in the head and how they think. They went ahead. Here's the, um, that's the three of cups with the three of wands. The three of cups is they trusted and liked this person because of the mask they wore. And it got them at the three of wands to do that magic. Now, this group of people that they had to help them do this, they heartbroken. Now they're the three of swords. Now they're the three of swords because they can actually see the truth of this queen of swords. Is that inside, they are this queen of cups. They are insane. Too late now that this group, this group can see them now. Doing this magic, think they're going to get something. Now they're heartbroken and all that karma and all that darkness is swimming around their souls. And this is, um, what's her name? I'm just having a brain fart with names today. Um. Whatever. Y'all know. She wanted to steal Ariel's gift. Her voice. And now they can see that this person was just crazy as hell. Getting them to help them steal from this high vibrational gifted person. These people can, the mask has fallen off. And they could see who this person is and why they wanted to do all this magic. 
Ursula, that's her name. Jesus Christ. This person is really Ursula in the inside. And I clarified, I was like, so, and I basically already told you, I was like, why are, is these people in the Three of Swords now? And just wrap this all, this line up for me. You got the moon. You got the ace of pentacles. And you got the star. Because under the moon, they tried to steal the inheritance of a chosen. And because they tried to do that, even the spiritual realm, they, once they got themselves into this, this three of swords, the spiritual realm also told them who they really was dealing with. And now these people have their own spiritual lessons on why they would do such a thing just on somebody else's word. Now they have to look inside of themselves. Now they have to look at their own soul as how, how are they so weak enough to be fooled by a demon? Wow. <laughs> they so sad right now looking at they self. It's unbearable. I would want me to shut up too though. <laughs> this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This person has betrayed everyone that they know. They have betrayed everyone. Everybody that could give them money or do some magic. They have used every resource in any kind of way to do this magic. If they got a husband, they got them to get them, give them some money to pay a practitioner to get a reading. If they got a sister, if they got anybody, they betrayed them in order to do this magic magic on this healer. A healer that is peaceful and powerful. The demon on them wanted this person's power. And look at all this purple. And like I said, it was a spiritual intuitive gift. They were trying to steal. They betrayed everyone. And this is a circus behind for this clownery. This foolery. They had everybody running around in circles. This person's own personal circus. This person betrayed everyone they know. Everyone. Everyone. They've lied to everyone. Treachery. And then on top of that, they lied to everyone with these two swords. And they, they want to stand on these lies. They want to stand on these lies and they having a hard time coming up with more lies and more lies. But they don't care. They want to stand on these lies that you deserve this. And that's not what they were trying to do. And this person is a scammer. Like this person has scammed people, even if it wasn't with magic. This person has just uh, scammed other people in previous friend groups before. This for them was supposed to be the ultimate scam. They literally were even testing themselves. I need, to, I don't see how good I am. This person is a narcissist.
this person is a narcissist and they 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 attracted these three people like because they they had greed inside of them that's how they allowed this demon to entice them into doing the magic too it appealed to the greediness inside of them they wasn't realizing that they were literally doing anything for money. I mean, yeah, granted, this person lied about who you were, but they were supposed to do their own research. And they blindly trusted this person because they made the money seem so good at the Ten of Coins. But really, with birthday, this person was only thinking about themselves. This person pretended to have grace and that like they were your victim, that they needed to protect themselves against you. Look at Carnival. They created a fucking show, a real show to get these rituals done. A real show to get these rituals done. Mafia, they created a gang, a mafia to attack your energy. This is their ten of coins. This came out again. It's not a joke. And this was your ten of coins that has been built over time by your ancestors. That inheritance that they wanted to steal. They were banking on paying these people off of your inheritance. And really, they were only going to give them a one coin. A one coin to distribute between all of them while they kept everything if this was to work. Spirit is telling me that even if this did work. These three people, they do have the spirit of greed in them. And man, this three keep coming up. Three. Three of wands. The three of cups is up here. And a three of pentacles. The spirit of greed resided in all of these people. They were it was they were so easy to trick. Because all they could think about was celebrating with each other when they got this. They really, that spirit of greed in them had them thinking really we're going to be stable because of this magic. Like this person was really able to brainwash them like. These people... To the three, to the four, the three to the four, these people were keeping their eyes on the prize, not realizing they that they were being ruled by this person's demon and their own demons. Money ain't shit, y'all. It really isn't. These people got tricked out of pieces, a big chunk of their soul. And they're going to have to deal with some crazy ass karma trying to murder, murder somebody for money. I mean, this demon, they didn't get what they wanted from you, but they were able to claim a few more souls. This shit crazy. But you know what? I do feel a little regret from the people who were tricked into doing this magic. None from the orchestrator of this 
I don't, sorry, I don't have enough, another word. Fuckery. They lose. You're the temperance. Balanced in the light and the dark. Prosperous. You own your personal power and you are crowned still in the in the heavens and in the physical by your bloodline. Because you got the, the, the divine guidance that you needed in order to succeed. You're in a healing. Your spirit is saying that this was a lot. This was a lot of magic. And you're still healing from it. It was really an emergency. Because they was coming hard. And you're in a healing stage. You're still trying to get. Now you're trying to get back into balance. The people who attack you. Are forced to reflect on themselves. Every part of themselves. Look at all the colors. All their chakras. Who they are. Energetically. And unfortunately, their cycle is closed for this lifetime. This lifetime is closed for them to get to their North Node and to achieve their highest self. This life is closed. The rest of their life will be reflection, reflection on who they are. Better luck next time. Because for this lifetime, it's over. You forfeited it. Now, for the overall. And this overall was very specific. So... Only part of this overall is going to resonate for some. But there's a, also a part that will resonate for all. And Spirit is saying because with that Wheel of Fortune and that uh, World card, the will be in turn in your favor and the cycle being closed of you winning this and you know i'm hearing karmic debt is paid you might have had a past life debt with this person and you had to go through this in order to defeat this person so they don't follow you in any other lifetimes or whatever and pay your karmic debt but this gift that you have this intuitive gift however you you use it Especially if you're using it to where somebody can watch you at the Queen of Cups, this intuitive gift, getting messages. And you may be making money with this gift in some way. And I mentioned this and it's even going further in this reading about this. Like, it's like this, like you being watched by a King of Pentacles. And this King of Pentacles is watching you because they want to give you an offer. But there's something going on now. Before I tell you what's going on, let me tell you about this, this King of Pentacles energy. This is real life big dick energy. This is daddy. Ah, like shit for real. This card came out. I was like, oh, daddy. This person is like wealthy. And they are about the business. Now, I'm like, 
because this person is such a zaddy and he's wise spiritually and stuff like that whatever you're doing however you are using this gift if you're using it where you could be seen this person wants to give you an offer but when i pulled on this king of uh coins i got the five of sword mental conflict suddenly you shrink you shrink to the size of an ant an eclipse occurs how does it change the dream? The Six of Wands. The Truth. The Ace of Swords. And the Temperance again. So this King of Pentacles has not given you an offer. Because there's some type of mental conflict about what he sees. And... I don't think that it's really about you. There's something in his mind like you guys might be different. And like maybe in race or something like that. And he might have grown up or been around people who are racist or sexist or there's something going on with mental conflict about what he sees. Like he likes your gifts and how you use them and everything like that. And he wants you to give an offer, but there's some type of mental programming that is getting him in conflict. And whatever this mental conflict is, he is reflecting on it and he feels bad about it because he knows that it's shallow. But he's also in this spot because he's had people that have disappointed him and used him for money or something like that and right now he wants to make sure that he's putting his investments in the right place i've been told to stay away from those kind of people whatever that means it's something shallow because your gifts and everything they are impressive and he sees them as high vibrational. Suddenly you shrink to the size of an ant, emperor, disappointed emotion. Like him reflecting on himself and what's keeping him from making this offer to you. Um, he kind of disappointed because he knows he shouldn't be thinking like that. It makes him feel small when he sees himself like this. Now, if this is race or something like that, for this king of coins, he would be correct because that's mental illness. Racism is mental illness and it's usually a bloodline mental illness. An eclipse occurs, how does it change the dream? So he has a plan and a dream, but this mental illness, whatever this shallow mental conflict, whatever, is eclipsing his idea of presenting you with something and he's closing the safe. And he's feeling guilty about it. Like this is a spiritual, even though he's the king of coins, this is a spiritually aware person and he's working on himself and observing you and he's trying to energetically organize this mental conflict because he thinks that the union between you guys would be successful. And this would be this, if this is getting together to do some type of business or whatever, the energy that's coming off of here would be, it would be great if he can get over whatever he's mentally con conflicted about. But you guys will learn from each other. Like you would, because he's structured and this is flow. You would teach him 
how to flow with his structure and he would teach you how to structure your flow. This is a good match. This is a really good match. And this is the queen of cups. He should, in fact, with the cups and money, if he invests in you, you using these intuitive gifts or whatever it is you do, like, it would balance you out. Like, you would balance, you would do well with balancing your intuitive gifts and the business proposition that this king of pentacles has for you. Um, I think that this king of pentacles is going to work through whatever mental conflict this is. Because the truth is you are in fact the temperance. You are a chosen energy and your gifts are real. Spirit is telling me that it's highly likely that this offer will be made to you because the nine of pentacles is under the nine of pentacles is under this queen of cups. That it's likely that he will make this offer. And I know he will because look, this is the bird again. You using your intuitive gifts to make money. This literally, this opportunity, creativity, they, this high, uh, this dark high priestess saw this in your future. And this is what they were trying to steal. This is what's going to bring your bloodline back on track and create general, general, generational wealth so that the souls that have been working on this bloodline, they can come back into the bloodline with what they need. The will of fortune is in your favor. It is your time. Keep your eye open for this king of coins. Now that part is not for everyone. But this is what's for everyone. What's for everyone as this person. They are in spiritual jail. They are going to go mad watching you. Look, with the frog, frog feet transform into your North Node self. And watch you use this gift that has been given to you by your ancestors, this shamanic intuitive gift. It will transform you and bring you abundance and riches. And this person is going to watch. This person is already mentally ill, but these demons that they sent is going to be on them. And like this damn parrot, I looked up the spiritual meaning for parrot is uh, communication, mimicry, and something else. But anyway, they they going to have voices in their head. Probably want a cracker. Probably want a cracker. And it's just going to be saying the same shit over and over and over again. This person is going to be mentally ill and like not in, they were already not in control of their mind, but they're going to hear shit talking to them. Saying the same shit over and over. They are not going to be in control of their mind at all. Because they probably sent you some mental magic. So that you wouldn't con couldn't control your mind. So some of this magic can work. But it's coming back to them. And they their crown is in spiritual jail. And they will be hearing voices. They're going to be watching you stuck in this hatred. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. Whatever it is, it's going to be spinning around and on top of other things being said. This person, 
they fucked up real bad. And for the rest of their life, they're going to know how bad they messed up. So I told the story again with a little more detail because your stupid ass black magic is not going to work, especially not on my crown. And this reading is up here just to let you know that. And that if you got these people cross watching that was helping you so they can know a little bit more about you. And who you really are. And what they allowed to take them over. What does the collective need to know? Ooh. Mm. Yeah, none of them can sleep at night. The Nine of Swords. Ooh, they in such mental conflict. Like I said in that other reading. We're going to say it again because your shadow spells don't work. Because of all the magic you sent at the Ten of Wands. Your 30 stupid ass wands. Don't play with me. The truth will be told. And the truth is, you are following a hierophant in reverse, a narcissist. I just heard mirror, mirror on the wall. Mm hmm. Mm, I can't make this up. I couldn't make this up if. I wanted to. You were following a narcissist. A hierophant in reverse. A dark high priestess. A dark magician. Somebody who used you. They already had magic in play. Doing voodoo and stuff. This is the second. Where is that at? This is the second one where it's like. That king. That king of pentacles had that. Damn voodoo doll too. That was already doing voodoo on this high priestess. And they, you got used to, with these three cards. They played you. The demon in them was talking to the demons in you. That's why you did what you did. Spirit is saying, oh, they sorry now. Yeah, you sorry now. At the Nine of Swords, but that shit too late. You got the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands? You feel that on your back. Yeah, you feel it. What's up? Mm, you feel it. You feel them demons in your house? Doing dark ass magic in your house? <laughs> You're haunted. You feel the demons in your vessel? You felt them the more you was doing that magic and you kept on? Yeah. They in your house physically and spiritually. Uh -huh. Because of what the games you were playing in the balance for money. Because you felt like you were at the five of pentacles. 
you allowed your greed to infect your mind and your emotions. And you chose wrong. Greed. Look at all this green. Greed. Like I said, the ship has sailed. And the portal for you to reach your North Node purpose is closed. And it's particular light. Anything else? Since you want to cross lines, we got a little special something for you. Give me something for that. We got the Eiffel Tower. Give me something for that. No, not all those. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah. You should stop watching. Because it's just making you sad and somebody drinking. Because this is all you're going to see. This person standing... And living life in their creative power. Because they are the empress. This is the timeline that this high priestess is going to. It is their destiny. It is their inheritance from their bloodline. You need to reflect. Reflect on your soul. Save yourself. Anything else? Because this is hella long. For some damn cross watchers. Nobody cares about you. But apparently, Spirit wanted to tell you they will not be silenced. Ooh. Ace of coins, nine of coins, <laughs> and death. It's time to, this is one time you should lose hope. There's no money coming to you. That's dead. And this story will be told to everyone if this has helped you please like share subscribe and until next time